Myth Manor's Memories of Photography exhibition presenting six historical and contemporary American artists. They're all exploring the idea of the American South. The South is recognized as a distinctive region, physically, psychologically, and culturally, and they are often described as the other America. This exhibition isn't really here to define what the place is about, but to challenge the notion of how we perceive a specific place through the accumulation of images registered in our minds. Some artists here are southerners themselves and others from an outsider's point of view, but all have spent a considerable amount of time in the South. Susan Lipper, for example, comes from New York and spent five years initially in a small community in the Appalachian Mountains in West Virginia and took powerful images from the people's lives here. She had become part of this community and work in collaboration with the people here, often blurring the idea of documentary and stage photography. For William Christianberry, photography is only a part of a much wider practice including painting, sculpture and drawing. He started to take photographs as reference for his paintings, but later taking photography more seriously by using many different kinds of cameras. He's from the deep south of Alabama, and the work is about capturing the place, often of the landscape, buildings and structures, and passage of time of these places. This there is Green Warehouse, in particular illustrates this particular building he documented over a 21 year span. William Eggleston is considered to be the father of colour photography and the selection here shows early iconic works and recently discovered works from the 1970s. He is the first person to have a solo exhibition of colour, colour photography at the Museum of Modern Art in New York and this was controversial at the time because fine art photographers were expected to use black and white rather than colour which was thought to be vulgar because only the advertisers would use them. Eggleston used a specific printing technique called dye transfer which produces very concentrated colours which he would use to convey the emotions. The portraits that you see here are only very recently discovered and I think they are absolutely remarkable. Alex Soth is the youngest artist in the exhibition and this selection comes from a bigger body of work, Sleeping by the Mississippi. He is from Minnesota in the northern part of America and he travelled along the Mississippi River from Minnesota to Louisiana and took these pictures of contemporary America. Um, he's taking the people, the places and their lives he encountered during many trips that he took over five years. We move on to historical photographs from the 1930s by Walker Evans. He was commissioned to document the rural poor during the Depression era by the Farm Security Administration at the time and produced truly iconic images of the South. These memorable images became so registered in our psyche as well as Southerner psyche which helped to form the identity of the South. In 1938, Evans's works were shown as the first ever solo photography exhibition at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. And with the Eggleston exhibition of colour photography, it was an important moment when the established institutions started to recognise photography as a genre seriously. Carrie Mae Weems offers a very different perspective to explore the identity of the South here. She stages her images carefully, referring to social and historical issues, especially with a focus on the African-American experience. She places herself in various politically charged locations in the South, including plantation house and railroad tracks. This body of work is selected from a much larger work, the Louisiana Project. This exhibition introduces a rich body of work by artists from a number of different angles, but I think also it poses many questions and highlights the dilemmas and problems when we present a certain place and culture. I think the American South is one way of looking into these issues, which can be applied to all places and all of us. Blue jeans, my sweetheart.